Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to try a hair hack that I have been seeing going around the internet. I saw it first on Facebook, then Instagram, and then um, some people have even done it here on YouTube. So I'm seeing this circulate the internet and I was very, very interested. So I'm sure you guys might have heard of the Dyson, I believe that's what it's called, Dyson Hair Curler where it just uses like low heat and friction to create beautiful curls on your hair. It honestly seemed like such a cool hair tool and I really do want to try it, but did you see that price tag? I don't want to try it that badly. But this hack I think was created as a cheaper DIY version of that hair tool, so we're going to try it out today and see if it actually works. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. So you're gonna need a water bottle and what you wanna do is cut off the top part where, you know, like the cap screws on. You wanna cut off that top part completely and that's where our hair is going to be inserted. Now going kind of like halfway down the water bottle, you wanna create like a square little opening here to, and that's where our hair dryer is gonna go. So the idea is that we put in our hair, we put our blow dryer here and it's going to kind of use the same technology in a way, same sort of, to use like friction and heat to create these really pretty curls. So when we let go, it should look good. My biggest concern is heat with this plastic water bottle. Like, I'm just scared this is going to melt or like, I don't know. Plus my hair dryer that I use, this is the, it's from Velecta Paramount. It's um, the TGR 4000i. I have had this hair dryer for almost as long as I've been on YouTube and it's still the most powerful blow dryer I've ever tried. Um, it's, it's seriously amazing. This heats up so great. It's like, first of all, it's so powerful and it gets very, very hot. So I'm just nervous it's going to burn my hand or melt the plastic onto my hair. Like, I'm just scared. So I'm going to use the cooling setting. Maybe I'll do a little bit of both, a little heat, a little cooling, just to kind of balance it out. That's what we're gonna try and we'll see We'll, we'll see how it goes. I am going to need a hair clip though. Look at my lobster clip. It's like broken. Okay, I'm gonna work in sections. My hair is like a little damp because I washed it today. Oh, and I, I added more color. In case you were wondering why, my hand is so brightly orange. Here's the hair right now. I also have pretty short hair, so who knows what this is gonna look like. Okay. what the heck did I just do to my hair? See, I feel like this would look better if I had longer hair, but because I have short hair, it's gonna look a little funky. Let's try smaller sections. Let's see what that looks like. Let me toss this back. I was just using the cool setting. Let's, I'm gonna use a mixture of both this time around. Okay, cut the blow dryer in. Whoa, wait, where's my hair? Where did it go? <laughs> Uh, uh, hmm. I feel like the videos I did see, people were having way better luck. Oh my dear goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, I mean, I like, I kind of see it, but I think the length of my hair is kind of killing it. And it definitely works better if you use the heat, but I was really scared I was gonna burn off my hand. Okay. Nope, nope. Nope, oh my gosh. Maybe short hair just isn't meant to do this. Let me try twisting my hair. I saw somebody twist it, so let's see if that helps at all. I'm not getting this technique down.
Okay. Let's see. I mean, it did a little something, but... Yeah, with my hair length, this is not gonna work. But I can see how it is creating that curl, like, going this way. I can see it, and I think this would so work on longer hair. Cannot seem to get this. Let's try like a top section over here. And I'm gonna try my blow dryer on the lower setting and see if that does anything. Oh, I can change the heat too. Mm. Oh, that's a lot better. Like, if I turned on the heat, oh wow. I think it's 100% my hair length because that looks actually pretty good but like my hair is so short there's really no nothing to show for it okay let me keep trying because I have not given up yet I have I have faith in this okay let's let's try again <laughs> uh, oh my goodness gracious. See? Uh, okay. I'm kind of seeing it. Okay, let me go back to working in sections. I know, I'm, I'm all over the place right now. But I really want to get this because I think, I think it could look good. Even with my short hair. Oops. You have to like angle the blow dryer in just the right way or else your hair is going to just fly out. Okay, I think you guys have seen enough of me struggling with this. I'm going to take this technique over to the bathroom because I just have better mirrors there and I can see what I'm doing a lot better. So I'm going to try and do the rest of my hair in the bathroom real quick and then I will show you guys what I come up with. Alright, so I am back. Here is what my hair looks like. Not my favorite hairstyle, but you know what? I gotta say it's not the worst. My hair definitely has a lot of volume from this hairstyle, and we have some texture. They're not like actual curls. Again, I think it has a lot to do with my hair length. So I think if you have longer hair, I think you're really gonna see that like really pretty spirally curl type of look. But because I have shorter hair, I have kind of just this texture. So there was definitely some like trial and error when figuring out this technique, but I found that if I just stuff the hair in and then have the little opening on the side facing upwards, then I just take the blow dryer and I have to just find that right positioning so that when it blows the hair, it's like blowing in that perfect spirally shape. Because if you blow it at like a wrong angle, it's just gonna make your hair go crazy and then fly out of the water bottle. So you definitely need to have a little bit of patience when trying this out and first understanding how it works with your hair. But I definitely see this working a lot better with people with longer hair. I feel like you could just stick all your hair in, boom, 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 and then just have like these really pretty curls here at the bottom. But for short hair, I mean, you can achieve something that looks like this. I don't think I'll try it again, but maybe once I have longer hair, I'll give it another try. But um, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me test out this beauty hack. If there's any other beauty hacks that you see going around that maybe I miss, make sure you send them to me and if you want to see me try them, let me know too because I think this is fun. This was like a fun little DIY. And you know what? I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Not my favorite way to style my hair, but I don't think it was a complete fail either. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!